Now the battle for the Amazulu throne continues in the High Court in Pretoria today. King Misuzulu's brother, that's Prince Magate, is challenging the decision to recognize King Misuzulu as the rightful heir. He says he's the rightful heir as he is the firstborn son. Let's uh, uh, take you to Sipamanda Koke now during this lunch break for him to just give us an update on how it's gone in court. So Sipa, yesterday we heard respondents, um, respondents from uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa and Copta Minister Tembing Kadimeng. Who have we heard uh, from today so far? Today belonged to Princess Magade's legal representatives, and that is Alan Donson, senior counsel, as well as Prince Mbonisi. Prince Mbonisi is the late king's brother who joined Princess Magade's court application in the North Houghton High Court in Pretoria. Basically, they are seeking different relief. So, who was arguing on behalf of Prince Mbonisi? It has been advocate Tabane Masogu, senior counsel, and Menz Simelane. On the side of Princess Magade, it's been Alan Donson senior counsel. They were responding to submissions made by advocate Morumo Muerane, senior counsel representing the president and the minister of Cogta, as well as Cedric uh, who was representing uh, King uh, Misuzulu Kazuelitini yesterday. They made their submissions as to why they are opposing this application by Princess Magade. So it's a wrap for today. Mm. This is over judgment has been reserved by Judge Norman Davis. The matter was set down for three days and indeed those three days are over. All arguments have been heard, submissions have been made, the responses or all other parties that have had to respond, they did respond. Now all parties and all sides wait for the judgment that has been reserved. Judge Davis is parting short saying, listen, I understand the significance of this case in terms of Amazulu royal family as well as Amazulu nation. I understand what it means to the nation, but he needs time to go through all the arguments and the submissions that have been made in order for him to draft and hand down that judgment. I'm joined by Prince Mtogo Zimashobo, who is King Misuzu Lugazwelitini's cousin. What does the king make of this case? We will be getting reaction from the other side of Prince Usmagade, but overall, three days over, the king made submissions and the other parties made submissions. What do you make of the gist of this case? Documents. Ogubsum, Sambum Dag Buga, Bameli, Abamele, Inzum, Kulemelum, Tonbonis, Tonus Magat, Ogun Alcon, the Sego, Noglens, Alina Balegi, Lina Balegi, Loko, a Gui, Trillens, Unculum, Bapelins, Unculu, Ionans, Eson Shoy, Oguti, a man of Cosi, Nomland, Ulap. So the Oganam Sanders is all in the Lichach, Utilans, Um Sebenzoio, Nama submissions of Fanny Lens, Villa, Uba Melibonke, Kodanji Tembas Nalo, Ukutuankum Sebenz, Makos, Wambaras, Ingonia, Mrs. Salueni, Futuankum Sebenz, Wambaras. After all is said and done, you are one big family. The nation is looking upon you. They are saying you need to provide leadership and guidance. Unity efforts, are you done with those? Is the king done with those? Aigaze ibe no muzo owe shugi lenge nzungulu na mani nabanto anabagwabo nzungulu yonke nje. Ia bae mbraisa njana banto binkosi, ia basho ni pafuti. Nembono ya yo, ya bo, ia iso ni pagoto, iki ni solitu mlando. Iona obega i ingonyame slalweni. Iona esu ushon payo. Ingonyama ge iba konzi, ila bagwabo futi ya batanda, ia basho ni pafuti. There have been reports in the media that the king has chased away his siblings at Wakangela Mankengan Royal Palace. Are those reports true? What is happening? All is not well in the kingdom. Siguzwile jeloko mklamo mdonge rakfazo kutemi ngoba umdukboni lepe panda beni le langa. Koti kiniso liti ingonyama ino msebenzo mkulu o kusebenzo msebenzo esizu. Mklamo wave la gile lia pepa izi ndai fano nguti ingonyama kukonu kubunga boni na soli nye patu kwa bantu wana baguabu. Asked as well to see in the 
former chairperson of Ingonyama Trust Board, uh, Ujero Mgwenya, has made serious allegations against the king. Basically, he says there is no one on the throne, and he says the king is simply not fit to be on the throne. How do you respond to such allegations, and what is the king going to do about it? responsibilities Thank you very much for time up. That is Prince Mtogo Zimashobo, who is King Misu Zulugazuelitini's cousin. Reflecting on the court case, he says the king's side, or rather the king's side, is hopeful that they will emerge victorious. They are waiting for the judgment, just like all other parties are waiting for the judgment. Princess Magade's side has also told me that they are confident that they will win. Earlier on, I spoke to Prince Mazu of Waminya Mazi who was speaking on behalf of Princess Magade's side who told me that if they do not win they will go all the way to the Supreme Court of Appeal and Constitutional Court they will appeal this matter so that tells you that this is far from over and all members of the royal family are waiting for the outcome and the judgment of this case but it's just the start it will take years to be resolved as it has always been the case since the days of King Shaga that the throne of Amazulu is always contested this time around is just that you are dealing with a modern day scenario in a democratic South Africa it's playing out in a public court of law. Hmm. The team's going to shout at me for asking this next question uh, Sipa and I, I just need to know because it's something that I wanted to ask you yesterday as well Umdonawaga uh, Pindangene was also mentioned, was it only about the identification when he announced that it would be King Misuzulu? Why, how does he fit in? He is at the center of this case. Mm. Almost all parties rely on Prince Mangosu to tell his role. Either way, if you are looking at Princess Magade, I'll try to be brief. Princess Magade's side is arguing that Prince Mangosu to did not have the royal powers, responsibilities and duties of convening meetings of royal family members to basically identify and nominate a successor. They are saying the meeting of the 14th of May 2021, which was convened by Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi, should be set aside because he did not have the powers to do so. He features in that regard when it comes to Princess Magade's submissions. And also the letter that Princess Magade reportedly wrote to Prince Mangosu to saying, well, he would support anyone who's basically nominated and appointed by the family to become king. That letter features strongly in this case too. Prince Mbonisi's team, they are also arguing that Prince Mangosu Tubuteli did not have the right to convene any meetings. In fact, their argument is that the king's siblings, they are the rightful people to convene royal mm. meetings or meetings of royal family members and nominate a successor. The other side of King Misu Zulu acknowledges him as the traditional prime minister to the Zulu king and the Zulu nation. They say he is part of the royal family, so therefore he has all the powers to do so. But most importantly, his affidavit that was not unsigned, he featured strong because King Misu Zulu's side appealed to the judge to accept that affidavit and in saying so they said it's crucial because all their case and their arguments are built and centered around Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi's historical and institutional memory of the Zulu mm. royal family, the Zulu cultures, customs and traditions. So, for, so therefore Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi has featured strongly in this courtroom and we'll wait to hear how Judge Norman Davis will deal with the issue of Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi's unsigned affidavit that the lawyers of King Nesuzulu pleaded with him to consider the contents of in saying there is no way you can talk about the Zulu culture and tradition and customs without Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi. Hmm. It's going to be interesting, Sipa. When you talk about Zulu customs, I remember one of the lawyers arguing that you cannot say that you're going to follow Zulu customs because already the deceased king, uh, Zuelitini, uh, actually deviated from the customs by naming his wife, one of his wives, as the person who's going to take the, the throne. So it's going to be quite interesting how uh, a court in democratic uh, South Africa decides on this case. Sipa Mandakoke, our senior reporter in the High Court in Pretoria.